Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the HG After Colony Maguanak. So this is from Gundam Wing, of course, and this is the grunt suit that are like the followers of Kacha Rabarba, I guess? Uh, I don't exactly remember how they're related, but basically there's they're his uh, kind of own personal private army. So it's another kind of grunt suit like we saw with the Leo, which came out last year, which was a fantastic little just cheap, simple, fun kit. And I'm expecting basically the same thing from this kit as well. Slightly different from the Leo, but it does sort of share a similar just simplicity in its design. So I think it should end up being pretty nice. And the kind of kit that you can buy quite a few of if you are interested, or you can buy the upcoming P Bandai sets and you can get a set of uh, 36 in a single box if you want, if that's the way you want to go with it. But there are a bunch of different variations in the design. I think in this box we only get really just the one design. It would have been nice if they would have given us at least one or two variant parts to use in this box, but they got to sell all the different P Bandai variants, so I guess that's just our luck. But anyway, really fantastic box art here on the front, so you can see just all the different designs there in the back, showing off some of the variants there, so you can see all of that, and you can see the Sandrock up there in the corner as well, which we'll be getting in the HG line pretty soon, later on this year, so that'll be nice to have a new HG kit of the Sandrock there as well. So as always guys, huge thank you to Isa Gundam Store for sponsoring the review. Check the link to their site down below if you want to check out this kit or anything else there. You can save 10% on everything there using my coupon code, so check that out. Uh, this is number 223 in the HG line. HGUC line, but of course the HG wing and like G Gundam kits and other things are also included in that numbering system. Here on the side, or the bottom of the box I should say, just a look at the front and back here of a fully painted up kit. We have the beam rifle, the shield, and the heat tomahawk included with this. So pretty nice, simple uh, array of weapons here for this. Nothing really too flashy, but again, it's just a really simple grunt suit, so it works anyway. It's got some action posing, it's got the ability to store the shield on its back, it looks like. You can also give it some stickers for some numbering on it. And just again, simple, uh, fine build design here. So it should be one of those that's really easy to paint as well, I'm guessing. So we'll see how the construction goes, but I think it will be. Here on the top of the box, a nice CG image there, and then some text if you want to check that out, just a little bit about that. A total of 40 units were deployed, so yeah, you, with the upcoming P Bandai sets, there's a set of two, a set of two, and a set of 36. So if you buy all of those, you can make the full 40. The list price for this kit was originally 1,200 yen. So not too bad, a little bit more than Leo. Leo was uh, 1,000 yen, if I remember right. Uh, this one is gonna be a little bit more involved than Leo, some little bit larger parts and a little bit more parts for the weapons and the shield and everything, so. Uh, we've got all of our stickers there, you can see that, and there's the parts in you know, like a dark, dark gray, basically almost black there, some dark brown, some tan color, and the uh, kind of frame parts, or the joint parts or anything like that is in this kind of like light bluish gray color, it's a pretty unique color, really don't see that often for those kind of parts. Do have some of these yellow bits as well, and some stickers for that too, unfortunately, would have been nice if they would have been able to reproduce all of those parts as actual parts, instead of having to use stickers, but... It is an HG, so it's not really all that surprising, but it does still look pretty nice regardless. Let's get a look here at the manual. We've got some stats there on the side and just a nice big reference image here if you want to paint it to match the official color scheme here on the back. A whole bunch more information. I'll let you check that out at your own time. We also got some information over here about the shield, a little bit down here about the beam rifle, and then some over here about the heat tomahawk if you want to check out any of that stuff. Some more information down here, a whole lot of stuff in Japanese and in English. But down there at the bottom we do also have our color guide, and then let's move on into the parts list. So here is the parts list, there you can go, you can see we have a couple of leftover poly caps, and that looks to be about it. So it goes on into the construction, the body, the head, the arms, the arms, the upper body is done, the legs, the legs, the legs, the waist, back around to our color pages. Finish up the waist, so all very typical construction pattern here, finishing that up and then onto the weapons. Really simple there for the beam rifle, looks like three parts. A single part there for the uh, beam tomahawks, so that's good, no seam line to remove on that by having to sandwich parts together or something. That's nice. And the shield, just a couple of parts for that as well, so just two, just a front and back part, so the back is just going to be all in that same color as so we let them mask and paint that up if you want to look at want to have it looking really nice but here's something i didn't know that you could actually store the beam rifle on the inside of the shield so that's pretty cool as well you can store that there 
on his back. So all right, let's get a look at the runners. All right, so here's that foil sticker sheet. Again, we basically just got some ones there for on the front and back of the shoulder, some pink and purplish color there, purplish for the mono eye, and then the pink one for the camera on the top of the head, I believe. And these two light tan strips go on the front of the shield. And then we have our marking stickers. It's basically just a set of numbers, uh, zero through nine. We have two sets in large font and two sets in smaller font in this sort of, uh, I guess it's supposed to be Arabic sort of looking font there for the numbers. It's pretty interesting, pretty unique anyway. And then PC7 here for our polycaps we're going to have for the kit, just a few of these ball joint polycaps. Alright, then getting into it, runner A here is in four different colors, a couple of tan parts there over on the side for the back of the shield and for the face, a couple of the orangish yellow parts there at the top, and then some of the brown parts there all through the center, and then some of that really dark dark gray, basically black color there almost for the parts there at the bottom, weapons parts, parts for the feet and the hands as well. Looks like we're only going to have holding hands for this kit like with the Leo, so pretty limited in terms of the hand options. Runner B is all in this nice matte brown color here, parts for the feet, the shoulders, and a bunch of stuff on there. And then runner C1 here, there is no other C2 or C3, I guess obviously those are going to be parts for some of the P Bandai sets, uh, but this is runner C1, just got some parts here in tan, and the interesting thing that I want to point out is that here for these parts for like the shins, the lower legs, where at the Leo you have a, a panel line actually running down the side of the legs so you don't have to worry about removing the seam line. On these though it looks like there is no built-in panel line on there so you'll have to either turn that into a panel line yourself or you'll have some seams to remove like that there on the legs. But I think based on what I've seen of the how the construction goes, you should be able to remove that seam line pretty easily and not have to worry about modding any of the joints or anything for that. We shall see in the review anyway, I'll let you guys know about that. But anyway, here's runner D for the rest of our yellowish, orangish parts. I guess it's certainly an orange color, but it's a, kind of a light orange here for some of those accent parts on the shoulder, the chest, the ankles, and all of that. And again, that light bluish gray color here for all the joints and everything like that. Interesting that the hands are not in this color, but usually have the hands are usually the same color as the rest of the kind of frame bits that are visible on an HD. But you can see how like some of them are polycap shaped like these here, which I'm guessing are going to be for, like, for the shoulder joints. Uh, you just have those in lieu of actual polycaps. But yeah, it looks pretty nice and again, pretty similar in terms of the construction compared to the Leo. So that's it for the unboxing guys, looks like it's another pretty nice kit from the line. I'm just wondering what might Bandai also do next in terms of another HG grunt suit from Gundam Wing. Possibly an Ares? A Tauros? Something like that? Could be pretty cool. Fingers crossed though, because the Leo is great, this one looks pretty nice and so I have every reason to believe that any ones they do in the future will also be pretty nice as well. So. Looking forward to it. Oh, and I'm just now realizing the sticker that I thought was for the head camera is actually just for the mono eye, and the one that was, I thought was for the mono eye is actually for the camera on the rifle. So just a little correction on that anyway. But that's it for the unboxing, guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the review coming up soon. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code, Zakurilius10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.